Hey there guys, welcome back to another video and today we're going to be having a look at Periscope. Now I did a quick look back in March um, of the app itself, but because I've used it quite a while now it's had a nice big update and there's still a lot of new people who don't know how to use it or where some of the features are. I thought I'd do a how-to guide, but it's a how to use Periscope app, not actually how to get more followers, hearts and things like that. So if you're looking for that, you've come to the wrong place. This is just how to use the app. So when you first launch the app, this is what it's going to look like. And at the bottom you've got the TV here, which is basically all the people that you follow, all their videos will show here. And if there's any live videos, it'll be listed here where it says live. And then any that I've broadcast and they've finished, they'll be down here. So I've got 93 recent and these are all the recent ones. If Periscope have featured one, it'll be up here at the very top. So that's that one. Then here you've got global, which is like the map and a list of all the ones that are going on around the world, which I'll come back to in a moment. Then you've got your broadcast button. And then here is where you can see people on Twitter who've also got the app. And then there's your profile up there as well, but we'll go into that in a moment. So first of all, we're gonna go back to the broadcast. So these are all ones that are live at the moment. If you wanted to go in and join one of these, you just tap it and go in and then it'll load it up and you'll be able to watch the video. And I'll just turn it down. If you want to make a comment, you just put your comment in down here. If you want to give some hearts, and you just tap the screen and you can see all these hearts flowing up. And the hearts are basically like a like. It just shows that you're liking what you see and you're enjoying the actual scope. Now, if you want to see what else is online, if you tap that button there, it'll bring up this. So you can see the area, location, and who else is actually watching live. If you want to hide the chat so you can get a good view without any comments bothering you, you just tap that button and you can see the chat's hidden now. To get it back, just press that button again. If you want to share it, press share. And from here, you can share on Twitter, you can share to your followers, you can even share on Facebook if you want to, or if you want to, you can copy a link, and that link then you can post wherever you like. And then, as I said, you just watch it and just comment if you want to, just dismiss that notification and tap for hearts. And when you do share, it'll tell you on your broadcast that someone shared it um, to either Twitter or Facebook, or if they shared it to their followers as well come out of it you just tap the X and that's all you do for any of the live ones then if you're watching one that is a um, that's already gone so for example this one here this one is Victoria's I've watched recently and you can see again who's watched it how many was watching how many replays again when you're watching it you can hide the chat you can share it still if you want to by copying the link or sharing it on Twitter that you've been watching it again with Facebook as well and you can start watching it and you can't comment on a replay but you can still give hearts so you can see there you can still give hearts if you want to and that's the lovely Victoria and that's all you do for replays and you can just go down and it only lists the most recent I think it's about 100 or something it doesn't list all of them so if you follow a lot of people you will find that you may miss some so you've got to look out for that so that is the first section which is all your broadcast then here you've got the global map and here You've got your map here, which shows the map of the world, and you can see all the different locations. Now, this will only show if the person is showing their location. If they're not showing their location or sharing it with you, they won't show on this part of the map. So that's why you probably won't see too many all the time. It's not a, a list of all the people that are scoping at the moment. Then here on the list, this is a list of everyone that's gone live, and normally you might stay on there for a, a minute or something until somebody else. If you, you can refresh it quite a bit, and it will change as more and more people start their scope basically. But as soon as you start scoping, you'll appear on this list for a very, very short while and then you'll disappear and somebody else will be replaced. But you can look down and join any of these and all these are actually live. Then we'll just go to this one. I'll come back to the broadcasting one last. This one here, as I say, this is where um, it'll be listed. What you can search if you want for a username up here. You just type in the username there. And these are all the people that you'll be following on Twitter that are already on Periscope so you can follow them. It doesn't automatically follow them for you, which is good because um, there's nothing worse having to follow people if you didn't want to. Then up here is your profile. And on here, if you want to change any of these details, just tap, um, so, oops, that's the old version. You just tap edit and here you can change your picture and you can change your um, bio as well. You can't change your username though. And then here it'll show you who you're following, how many you're following, how many you've blocked and how many broadcasts you've got. And you've got your settings and then like help center and you can share to Periscope. If you want to see your broadcast, tap that and it'll show the ones in the last 24 hours. So you can still watch them and share them if you want to. 
and the ones after 24 hours are all be listed here. You can go right back and see like the titles of them. Some of them that let you watch, some of them that don't. It's like that one um, was just over a day ago. I can still watch that, but ones further down you can't always watch. Um, but you can't do anything with them, you can't share them or anything. It's just the ones from the last 24 hours and that's it. They are then gone. Now in settings here, um, this is to have notifications for all the people that you follow. So I still have them on. And then preferred languages that you want to show in the list section, which is the, the globe there. You can choose um, which ones you want to prioritise that show up. So I, as you can see, I've got English at the moment because that's the only language I understand. So that is that section. And then here is your broadcast button. I'm not actually going to do a live broadcast or anything, but I'll show you how to do it. So you press the broadcast button. You need to pop in a title. And when you've got a red button here ready to broadcast, it will say broadcast or start broadcasting. Um, eventually, <laughs> my Wi-Fi must be down at the moment. So then it loads up like that, so it's set to broadcast. Then if you want to share your location, you press that button there. So it shares your precise location. So if you're at home, it will show you your actual address. Um, so if you don't want to share that, don't do it at home. So I generally take that off at home. If you want to share on Twitter, you press that button there and it will tweet it out for you when you go live. If you want to limit the chat to just people who you follow, you tap that button. But I don't tend to because it's all about interaction. And if you want to do a private scope, you just tap that button there. And then you choose which people you want to add. It will load them up, but it does take a short while. Um, but then you can actually choose which people you want to add to your private broadcast. But that's how you do a private, oops, a private one. So that is how to do a broadcast and basically how to use the Periscope app. It is quite easy and straightforward and it's still one of the apps that I really, really love. And I scope most days on there as well. So if you do want to follow me on there, I'll just share you my ID again. It's the same as my Twitter and it's Jane Jones JJ. So that is how to use Periscope. If you do have any questions about how to use the app, feel free to ask them in the comments and I'll try and answer them for you. But thanks for watching guys and bye for now.